Hey, fourth grade orchestra students. We're here for our fourth video lesson of the year. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did not get to watch lesson videos one, two, or three, I'm gonna ask you to stop where you are right now, go back and please watch those earlier videos. Today's lesson is gonna be a lot more forwards focused um, and it's gonna have less review. So if at any point it's starting to feel like the pace is too fast or there's something that you feel like I'm telling you in today's lesson but that you haven't learned yet, then you're going to need to go back and watch one of the earlier lesson videos to get that material. So what are we learning today in lesson number four? You're gonna learn a new note name. The note name is called G, but it is not your open G. We already know how to play our open G string. The G that you're learning today is a fingered note on the D string. So you're all learning a new note name called G, and we're learning a new song today. It's called the Cuckoo Bird Song. And the Cuckoo Bird Song gives you an opportunity to play that new letter name G and to continue your work on tunneling your fingers as you cross strings. So would you please check the timestamps below to figure out when your lesson starts and have fun and happy practicing. Hi violinists, you're in the right spot if you are here for your fourth violin lesson. Today we're going to start by learning our brand new note name called G. And no, I am not referring to your open G, which we play at the end of our ants song. Eek, look at all the ants digging in the dirt going underground, G. We already know how to play our open G. We're gonna learn a G that is one octave higher than that, or eight positions or eight notes higher than your open G. In order to play our new note name G, you're gonna to need to identify on your left hand which finger is your third finger. Again, pianist, sorry, you're gonna to have to relearn your fingerings. Zero, the thumb doesn't count for us in strings. So finger number one, two, three. Later, we'll learn four, which is our pinky. So today, you're going to really focus in on that third finger right here, which is your ring finger. So finger one, two, three. We know the letter names for our first finger on the D string. This is E. We know two fingers, F sharp. And now we're doing three fingers, which is G. So let's figure out how do we play that on our actual instrument. Get your monster fingers ready, nice rounded monster fingers. Come to playing position in three, two, one. Instrument is on your shoulder. For good measure, let's just do a look ma no hands check. Ready, go. Dun, 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 dun. Look ma no hands, instrument is balanced. Go back to monster fingers. Go through your setup, palm faces you, thumb is low. And let's curl down one, two, three fingers down on the D string. This is how you play your new note, G. Three fingers are pressing down on the D string. Make sure that you really compress them, your fingers all the way down so that the string touches the fingerboard. If you only lightly touch, it's gonna have a muffled sound. Go to rest position, please. Give your instrument a hug. Okay, so fingers one, two, and three all together. Sometimes we just call it the third finger, but really I want you to put all three of these down together. That makes the note name G on the D string. And it sounds one octave higher than your open G. Same name, but played in a different register, different range on the instrument. Monster fingers. You're in rest position. Come to playing position in three, two, one. Instruments on the shoulder, nice job. Notice my nice rounded monster fingers. Go into first position, please. This is first position. And let's put down enough fingers to make our new note name G. So you drop down all three fingers together as a unit. Let's do some finger push-ups. With your three fingers down, let's go push down. 
lift up and hover. Push all three fingers down, lift up and hover. Like you're doing push-ups in the gym, you can do it. Let's do two more. Push down, lift, hover. One more, push down, lift, hover. Go to rest position, take a quick break. Give your instrument a hug. Thank you, instrument. So that's your new note name G. Let's find out what it sounds like. Rest position, monster fingers. Come to playing position in three, two, one. First position, please. Curl your fingers down, elbow, wrist, pinky in one straight line. Elbow, wrist, pinky. Compress the string all the way down to the fingerboard. Again, this is your D string. And let's see what G sounds like. Can you play it four times with me? Ready, set, play, G. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. Four times. You have three fingers pressing down. They're pressing all the way down to the fingerboard. Ready, set, G four times, go. Good, that's how you play G. Go to rest position, please. Shake the imaginary water droplets off of your hand. It's actually raining outside today, the day that I'm recording this video, so we can really imagine those water droplets whew, coming right off of our hands. It's one of my favorite ways to get my hand and body to relax. Uh, while I'm practicing my instrument. Taking breaks is really important. So new song today, Cuckoo Bird Song, is going to use our letter name G. It's also going to use our open A string and the notes from Hot Cross Buns. Would you please listen while I sing you the words to the Cuckoo Bird Song? Cuckoo, cuckoo, he has lots of fun. Cuckoo, cuckoo, eating hot crust buns. And at the end, when we actually sing hot crust buns, the words in the cuckoo song, hot crust buns, that's actually gonna match the fingerings for hot crust buns, which you know as two, one, none. So let's figure out how to play this refrain that goes cuckoo, cuckoo, and it kind of mimics the sound of a bird call. So you can use your imagination to think about a bird call. And go to playing position. And the letter names for that cuckoo, cuckoo, that refrain, it's going to be A, F sharp, A, F sharp. So good string players that you are, you will know in order to cross between two strings, Miss Dagan needs you to please leave your fingers down on the D string, even though you're going back and forth between the two strings. So here's what it sounds like. I'm doing the cuckoo refrain. It's A, F sharp, A, F sharp, and I'm leaving my left hand fingers down on the D string. Ready, set, go. I'll show you from a different side. So I have my two fingers down on the D string and I'm gonna go back and forth between A, F sharp, A, F sharp, making a nice tall tunnel. Notice no part of my finger is accidentally touching the A string. That's gonna give it a muffled sound. Ready, set, go. Let's try that one more time. Ready, set, go. Go to rest position. Take a quick break. Water droplets off of your fingertips. So again, that's the, the refrain of the song, which we hear twice. Cuckoo, cuckoo, he has lots of fun. Then the refrain again. Cuckoo, cuckoo, eating hot crust buns. So that cuckoo is really important because it comes back multiple times. You're tunneling your hand between A and A F sharp, A F sharp. 
So let's learn the what we could call kind of the second line of the song. We have coo 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 coo. Second line is he has lots of fun. The letter names are going to be e e d e f sharp. So it's all on the D string. Let's try that second line together. First finger. Letter names are E, E, open D, E, F sharp. I'll show you from a different angle. Try that with me. Ready, set, go. One more time. Ready, set, go. Go to rest position. So far we've learned coo coo, coo coo. He has lots of fun. Then the next part is coo 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 coo. We already know how to do that, so it's gonna be hey feast. A feast. And then the last line of the song, eating hot cross buns. Do you hear how the sound starts high and then goes progressively lower like you're climbing down a staircase? So let's learn that last line of the song, eating hot cross buns. And I kind of gave you a hint that when we sing the words hot cross buns, we're actually playing to one none, the letters from hot cross buns. So to start the line, we go, G, G, and then we play hot cross buns. So big moment here, orchestra students, you get to play your G for the first time in a song. The last line goes like this. G, G, F sharp, E, D. Can you do that again? Put three fingers down on the D string, our new note G, play it twice, and then play hot cross buns. Ready, set, go. G, G, hot, cross, buns. Let's do that again. I'll show you from a different angle. So our new note name G on the D string with three fingers. Ready, set, go. Go to rest position. At this point, you may want to pause the video and rewind about a minute or so and watch me kind of go through the sequence one more time if you need to slow down or hear me play the cuckoo or the second line or the last line again. Now is a good time to pause, rewind, and check and take a couple of moments to review on your own. If you're ready to move on, let's do it. We're gonna do a playthrough of the Cuckoo Bird song. We're gonna do it twice in a row. First time we're gonna sing the words of the song while we play. And the second time we're gonna sing the letter names of the song while we play. So words first. Go to playing position. First position, fingers. Get your tunnel ready. Nice tall fingers, tall tunnel. Elbow, wrist, pinky in one straight line. That's gonna help you to tunnel. Get ready for A, feast. Cuckoo. Ready, set, sing the words. Cuckoo, cuckoo. He has lots of fun. Okay, last time through, I'll give you a different angle here. And we're gonna sing our letter names this time. Make my tall tunnel, elbow wrist pinky in one straight line, making a box with my first finger. See how I'm really landing square, not like this. Up, 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 nice tall tunnel. Okay, sing the letter names of the song with me, please. It starts A feast, A feast. Ready? Set, sing, and play. A feast, A feast, E, E, D, E, feast, A feast, A feast, G, G, feast, E, D. Go to rest.
last position. Now would be a really good time if you wanted to play through the cuckoo bird a bunch more times. You could pause and rewind and go back to the playthrough. All right. So that sums up the new material for our fourth violin lesson together. I look forward to seeing you all on Google Meet. Happy practicing and good luck. Hey, fourth grade cellists. Welcome to your fourth cello video lesson of the year. We're gonna start right off with learning what is this new note name G that Ms. Dagan was talking about in the introduction? And no, it is not your open G. That would be really easy. We already learned our open G as part of our ants, digging in the dirt, going underground, all the way to China. So we already know open G. We're going to be learning different G on our instrument. G on the D string. The G on the D string is one octave higher than your open G. So it has the same name, but it's a higher sound. It's eight notes higher in position than your open G. Let's identify which fingers play the new note named G, which left hand fingers are going to play the new note named G. Take your left hand out in front of you and let's remind ourselves the thumb does not count. Sorry pianists, we have to reassign finger numbers. So first finger, second finger, third, and fourth. So your pinky is your fourth finger. In order to play your new note named G, you need to use four fingers on the D string. One, two, three, and four. So you're gonna develop a nice, strong pinky cello players. So let's take our Coke can hand, nice and relaxed, thumb across from second finger as we've learned bring it into what we call first position on the D string. Now let's double check that our pinky is strongly going to compress the string all the way down to the fingerboard. We have our first finger, second, third, and now our fourth finger, our strong developing pinky. All those four fingers are gonna compress that D string all the way down to the fingerboard. If you only lightly touch your fingers, it just makes a muffled sound and it's no good for us. So really use a nice strong left hand. Sink, you can think of the word sinking and leaning in are really helpful for us instead of like pressing. Sometimes pressing makes sense, but think about sinking or leaning the whole hand in that's gonna help support your pinky because we know the pinky is like one of our weakest fingers just anatomically. So let's sink in with our whole left hand, all the fingers are helping, and your G sounds like this. Can you play that note four times with me? Ready, set, and go. Take your hand off, take a break. That's hard work for our pinky if it's our first time really using the pinky in that way. It does take some time to develop that strength. Let's kind of splash off these imaginary water droplets off of our hand. Like I said to the violinists earlier, it is raining today as I record this video, so it's easy for me to imagine really spraying off those water droplets off the end of my hands. Coke can hand. Let's go to first position on the D string. All four fingers are gonna compress all the way down to the string. If I only lightly touch, it's gonna to make a muffled sound. Let's do some finger push-ups. This is an exercise you can do on your own. With my finger push-ups, I'm going to kind of graze the string and then sink my fingers all the way down. So let's try that together a couple of times. Up, down, up, down. Of course, you're sitting up nice and tall in playing position. I just moved so I could get closer to show you. Up, sink down. One more, up, sink down. Take a break for your pinky, that's hard work. 
take a break, shake the water droplets off of your hands. Whew. Okay, let's do Coke can hand. First position, please, on the D string. Double check that you're lined up. Your pinky is on your last tape. This is the note named G. You're leaning in with the weight of your whole arm. Elbow, wrist, pinky in one straight line. Leaning in, pinky, ring, middle, and index finger. They are all compressing the string down together. It's not just your pinky by itself, please. It is all four fingers. Let's play that new note named G. Let's play it four times in a row. Ready, set, and play G. Great, take a break, shake off those hands. Next up on our agenda is learning a new song. It's called the Cuckoo Bird Song. In Cuckoo Bird Song, you get to use your imagination and think about an actual bird call. We're gonna kind of make that bird call sound from our instruments. We're gonna be using the skill of tunneling our left hand fingers, which I taught you in our last class. And we're gonna be using all the letter names that we've learned so far, including our open A and now our new note name G. Would you please listen while I sing the words of the cuckoo bird song? Cuckoo, cuckoo, he has lots of fun. Cuckoo, cuckoo, eating hot cross buns. And when we actually sing hot cross buns, you guessed it, it's gonna be the fingering that we already know for hot cross buns. It makes it like a little bit easier for you. Let's first figure out that repeated refrain. So this part that happens multiple times, cuckoo, cuckoo, really important that we learn that part. That refrain of cuckoo is mimicking the sound of a bird call. So use your imagination while you're playing and imagine an actual bird singing there. Take your hand and put it in first position on the D string. The letter names are gonna be A, F sharp, A, F sharp. So good string player that you are, you're gonna know that you're going between two different strings and Miss Dagan is going to really kindly demand that you leave your fingers down on the D string while you're going between the A and the D string. So I put my fingers down for F sharp and I'm gonna play A, F sharp, leave my fingers down, A, F sharp. Listen while I try that. Try that with me. You're playing A, F sharp, A, F sharp, leave your fingers down, elbow, wrist, pinky in one straight line. Ready, set, go. One more time, A, F sharp, A, F sharp. Leave your fingers down, ready, set, go. Take a break, shake the water off your fingertips. Next line of the song, he has lots of fun. It starts on your first finger on the D string. It goes like this. play that one more time. He has lots of fun. E, E, D, E, F sharp. Try that with me. Ready, set, go. E, E, D, E, Fis. This time I'll sing the words of the song, starting on your first finger. Ready, set, go. He has lots of fun. We're talking about the cuckoo bird. The cuckoo bird has lots of fun. The next part of the song is cuckoo, cuckoo. Tunneling your hand, please. Let's play the refrain. Ready, set, go. And then the last line. Ooh, we've been waiting to use our new note named G and here it comes. He has lots, oops, eating hot cross buns. The last line is eating hot cross buns. And the letters are 
G, G, Fis, E, D. So let's put that new fingering into use. Lean all four fingers down onto the D string. You're gonna make the note name G. Sink your left hand in, and you're gonna play four, four, three, one, nine. Try that with me. Ready, set, go. One more time, sink in all four fingers. Really lean the fingers down together. Let them help each other. Ready, set, go. Okay, so at this point, you may want to pause the video and go back and listen to when I teach you like each line by itself. So pause the video now if you need to go back and repeat as many times as you need to learn each line of the Cuckoo Bird song. If you're ready to move on, let's do it. Let's do a playthrough of the whole Cuckoo Bird song demonstrating that you know how to play your new note name G and that you know or are developing the skill of tunneling your left hand fingers, specifically in the refrain when we play A, F sharp, A, F sharp, cuckoo, cuckoo. So the first time through, let's sing the words of the song while we play. The next time through, we will sing the letter names of the song while playing through. Okay, so let's do it. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's just double check. Take the instrument away. You're nice and tall. Bring the instrument to you. You're in control. Coke can hand. First position fingers. We're setting up F sharp on the D string. Tall tunnel. Elbow wrist pinky in one straight line so we can access our A and D strings without disturbing each other. Let's sing the words of the song. Cuckoo. Ready? Set. Sing and play. Cuckoo. Shake it off. Get those water droplets off of your fingertips. Second playthrough, let's sing the letter names this time. Coke can hand, thumb across from second finger. First position, nice tall tunnel, elbow wrist pinky. Letter names please, A F sharp or A Fies. Ready, set, go. A Fies, A Fies, E E D. position. <sighs> nice work learning a new song this week and learning a new note name. That about covers it for your fourth video lesson cello players. Happy practicing and I look forward to seeing you soon.